Welcome back to an update for my Ernest Legion Mecha Calvary Fear Mecha. If you guys remember in my actual mini series that I have for the Mecha, I had experienced a small breakage from the manufacturer of a white bar inside the cockpit. So I contacted the manufacturer, or not, actually, not actually the manufacturer, but the retailer, and that retailer was Locker Toys. So if you're questioning buying from locker toys this is kind of what you're going to get in a service i've gotten stuff from them i've got in three days they don't ship on the weekends so keep that as an idea so if you on a monday through friday they ship it within 24 hours and you get it in three days i've ordered a couple times and it's been true to that three-day method unfortunately i had a broken piece i was missing a piece of the cockpit which you're going to see here shortly and this is how they replaced it. So it took about two, three weeks to get a replacement. Um, they held the, the piece for a couple of weeks, waiting for me to place another order, which, you know, wasn't, there's nothing I needed at this time. So I just, after two weeks, they just shipped it to me on their own without my request. They shipped it in this paper bag. So I'm holding out here, hoping that this isn't broken. So let me go ahead and get this out of the paper bag. As you can see here, this is nothing but just a piece of plastic. And we have a bubble wrap. Do have some tape on it. I'm sharing this video with you because I want to put the information out there in the collector's community on who you can trust with, you know, buying your expensive collectibles from. So let's see what they sent me. This is rock pretty good. It looks like the right part. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of here real quick. Oh, give me one second. So here it is outside the bubble wrap. This is actually the right part. It don't look like anything is broken. I mean, those look good. So looking inside here, this was the part. If you remember, I'll show you here in a second comparisons. But what right here, this white bar here was broken in half. It was actually not very really broken. It was just pretty much, it was missing. So um, for the price that I paid for the actual Mac and uh, do that I'm a collector I didn't want a broken part of my mech so I notified them and this is what I got so right here that bar so I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on pause and I'm going to bring the other mech out and I'm gonna show you how to swap out the the actual cockpit and I'll show you the comparisons so it'll be just a second Okay, so here we are. I went ahead and set the mech down. So he's sitting. So to replace your cockpit, if this happens to you. So here's the replacement cockpit. Looks identical. You're gonna have to basically first move, remove these two little tubes off the bottom here. And you're gonna have to take these black guns, just wiggle them out like so and then wiggle this one off and then you're going to have to pull the chest piece up over the head and then remove your cockpit like so so let's take a look at the comparison so here's the one from the mech that I received and here's my replacement Obviously, they look they are identical. Nothing looks damaged on the replacement from the packing and shipping method they used. That was must not shut. 
the bar in the front looks good. It looks different there. So let's take a look at that bar on the inside that I was telling you guys about. I will add this to part of my playlist. I've created a playlist for the mini series, and this is going to be an update to that playlist. And uh, so, as you can see, if I just set these right. Um, that's my. There we go. So, the bar here is 100%. Complete. So we need the light or anything. Let's see if it works. See so right here. This is my replacement. I have this white bar crossed here, and then this one is half missing here. So that's something for you guys to take a look at and see if you have any issues. I mean, that can be easily missed. I would have missed it if it wasn't on the box. So that should look like this, and this is a no no. So that's what that looks like. Okay. So let's go ahead and reassemble the mech. So I brought the mech piece back in, and now we have to do now is put on our replacement part. So we're going to have this piece all the way up, and we are going to get our, we're going to wiggle our uh, cockpit back inside. This is quite difficult to do here and see. It's like I separated piece right here. Put that back on. It's a very tight fit, so it, okay, there we go. So now we want to just get our pieces here and we'll line up the holes okay there's one just kind of a word of advice if you take these off you will lose some paint on those joints and then we're going to head back a bit put that back down over top of the front we'll have to move out the saddlebags a bit and uh that back down and then all we have to do is put the two hoses back on the pegs right here Which I can't do through the camera, so I'm going to uh, pause it for a second and do it. I can put you know, the two hoses right back on the pegs. Easy. Alright, so I got those two hoses back on the bottom of the cockpit. And it looks like nothing ever happened. And as you can see, I open up the, the cockpit. And the new piece is installed. Okay, well, um, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what happened with my replacement parts. And so you guys, putting the information out there in the community so you guys can take and make your best judgment from, you know, who you buy from. Um, I do recommend Locker Toys, they're really cool. So, give them a chance. If you live in the United States, you can get your stuff in uh, three business days. If you choose that shipping option, um, you see, it's like if you order, you know, a few sets, it's like 15 bucks. If you order a lot, you pay around 30. But, and I've paid you know, those prices here in the States, and it took me like a week to get it, and I had to wait longer to get my stuff. So it's up to you to decide. But this is just for information purposes for you guys to see um, how I got a replacement cockpit how I changed that out in my experience 
So I hope you like this update. If you did, please consider subscribing and check out my mini series for the Fear Mech made by Joy Toy. If you haven't seen the uh, mini series, thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next review.